Hey all, today I'm going to be explaining to you how to calculate the numbers on a property flip. I'll be teaching you how to calculate the profit and profit percentage of the costs or return on expenditure, the money invested and the money returned and the profit generated and the return on investment or ROI. But first, remember to chuck a like down below. So let's get into the video. Firstly, to calculate the profit, we're going to need three things. We're going to need the property cost, we're going to need other costs such as refurbishment costs, legal fees and any other costs. And we're also going to need a sales price. But if you don't have a sales price, you can use the ARV or after repair value. You can find the after repair value by searching for other comparables on property portals such as Rightmove because they've got a recently sold section. You can also look at properties that are currently on the market um, and see which ones have been discounted, which ones are getting a lot of viewings and which ones are likely to be sold as well. If you're looking at ones that are currently on the market at the moment, remember that some properties can be overinflated, so it's always best to try and find actual sold prices. To calculate a very basic profit percentage, you're going to first take your sales price, or after repair value, and deduct off the purchase costs, which will give you the profit. You then take this figure and divide that by the sales price again, which will give you your profit percentage. Now, obviously this doesn't include other costs, such as the legal fees, um, and purchase costs and sales costs. So obviously we'll factor those in later. But as a general guidance, if the profit percentage isn't between 20 or 30% or even higher, I wouldn't continue with a property flip. So let's factor in some costs and run through an actual example, as obviously it's likely that we're gonna incur some kind of refurbishment costs. It's also worth factoring in selling costs into your after repair value or sales price. In the UK, obviously we incur around one to 3% in estate agent fees around 500 to 1,000 in legal fees, and whatever your early repayment charges are as well on the financing product. So let's take an after repair value or sales price of 245K, deduct off the estate agent fees, legals, and assume that we don't have any early repayment charges. And let's take the cash value from the sale of 240,000. Let's also take a purchase price of 185K and factor in some legal fees of around 1.5K on the purchase end. Let's assume the property flip is going to take us around six months, so it's also worth factoring insurance at £12.50 a month for six months, which is 75 quid, and also council tax for six months, which is going to be around 700 quid. We should also factor in some loan fees of about £1,000 and interest charges on the mortgage of around £4,000. That's calculated of using a 0.5% interest per month on a bridging finance uh, on a £140,000 loan, which is obviously the loan less a 25% deposit. We should also factor in around 10k for a refurb, which I'd split to the kitchen around 5k for cabinets, worktops, appliances and labour, 2.5k for the bathroom for appliances, tiling and labour, around 1k for new flooring and painting, and 1.5k for skirting and energy efficient upgrades and hardware and anything else that needs doing. So we're all in cost wise at about 200k. So as a reminder, to calculate the profit, we take the ARV, less the purchase costs and the other costs. And then to calculate the profit percentage, we then divide this by the ARV. So for example, if we take the ARV of 240K, which is our ARV from earlier of 245K, less our selling costs, and take off our all-in costs of around 200K, which is about 202.5K, you're left with a 37.5K profit. Now, if we divide that by our ARV, again from earlier, that gives you a profit percentage of around 15.5%. If your profit percentage is less than 10 to 15%, I probably wouldn't continue with the flip. If you've enjoyed the video so far, leave a comment below about any topics you'd like me to talk about more in future. Alternatively, if you've got any questions that need answering, drop them down in the comments as well below. Next up, let's look at the money invested and the money returned. For the money invested, we're going to take all of the costs from earlier, but we're not going to use the full 185k unless you're obviously purchasing in cash. We use 25% of this, or a 25% down payment for the mortgage, which is 45K. Adding on our other costs from earlier gives our total cash invested of 60K. Obviously the mortgage that we have is 140K. And if we then sell the property for 240K, we have to repay the mortgage, which gives us 100K left, because obviously 240 less 140 is 100. And then obviously if we take our money returned of 100k and take off the money invested of 60k, that gives you a profit of 40k. Obviously as a quick disclaimer, this is the profit before tax because obviously with property flipping and property investment, you have to pay tax on any profits. 
unless obviously you're using it as a main home, in which case you can take advantage of the private property residence relief or PPR and not pay tax on any profits made. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay tax at either trading profit tax levels, which are 19% for a company, or personal tax rates for an individual, or capital gains tax if you've held the property for a long term, which is 28% on residential properties. But obviously companies still just pay a regular company profit tax. Finally, to work out the ROI or return on investment. So we can take that 40k, which is our profit, which is obviously our money returned, take off our money invested. So obviously using our 40k, we can then divide that by our money invested, which is the 60k, which gives us an ROI of 0.66 or 66%. If you want to learn more about property investing, then feel free to watch some of my other videos on the channel. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell so that you're alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.